Welcome to Concept Guru. Learning is fun. Hello and welcome to this video. This is about the plants in our surroundings and in this video we will discuss the parts of a plant and their functions. We see many plants around us. They are of different shapes and sizes. Some plants grow tall, some stay short. A tree is a big and tall plant. A shrub is smaller than a tree. A herb is smaller than a shrub. Most plants have two main parts. One part of the plant is below the ground and the other part is above the ground. The part of the plant that grows below the ground is called the root. The part of the plant that grows above the ground is called the shoot. The shoot consists of stem, branches, leaves, buds, flowers and fruits. We will now discuss the root in some more detail. There are two types of roots, tap roots and fibrous roots. A tap root is a long thick root that grows from the base of the stem. Smaller roots grow from the sides of a tap root. Plants such as carrot, beetroot, mustard and mango have tap roots. A fibrous root is made up of many roots. The small roots grow together like a bunch from the base of the stem. Plants such as grass, wheat, rice and onion have fibrous roots. Now, what are the functions of a root? Roots hold the plant firmly in the soil. Roots also help to absorb water and useful minerals from the soil and send them to the other parts of the plant. The roots of some plants such as turnip, carrot and beetroot store food. We eat the roots of these plants. So from the roots, let's now move to the stem. The stem of a people tree and that of a coconut tree is hard, strong and woody. It is called a trunk. The trunk holds the tree upright. Shrubs such as rose, mehendi and hibiscus have stems that are not very thick. However, these stems are able to hold the plants straight. The stems of some shrubs such as rose and bougainvillea have thorns. Herbs such as tomato, coriander and mint have green, soft and weak stems. The stems of these plants are so weak that they cannot stand straight. They either grow on the ground or need support to grow upright. Climbers such as money plant and pea need support to grow upright. And do you know what are creepers? Creepers such as watermelon and pumpkin grow along the ground. Let us now discuss the main functions of the stem. A strong and woody stem holds the plant straight. The stem bears branches, leaves, flowers and buds. The stem carries water and food to different parts of the plant. The stems of some plants such as ginger, potato and sugarcane store food. We eat stems of these plants. From the stem, we now move to the leaf. Plants are the only living things that make their own food. Plants make their food in their green leaves. That is why they are called the kitchen or the food factory of the plant. Now what are the parts of a leaf? The flat and broad part of the leaf is called the leaf blade or lamina. The thin line in the middle is called the main vein or the midrib. A number of very fine tubes branch out from the midrib. These are called veins. Veins bring water and minerals to the leaf from the roots and carry food from the leaf to the other parts of the plant. A leaf stalk or petiole 
attaches a leaf to the stem. The underside of a leaf contains many tiny pores. We can see them only through a microscope. These pores are called stomata. The singular of the word stomata is stoma. Stomata help the plant to breathe. Air enters the leaves through the stomata. They also help the plant to give out water vapor into the air. So now let's discuss the functions of a leaf. The main function of a leaf is to make food for the plant. The stomata in leaves help in the exchange of gases and in releasing water into the air. The leaves of some plants such as cabbage and spinach store food. We eat these leaves. Now that brings us to the end of part 1. Do join us in the part 2 to know about photosynthesis. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Press the bell icon for our latest videos.